can see it started only yes ma'am it is started yes ma'am it is started ma'am in the chat section it started yes ma'am it started what is not ma'am it is in the chat section it is showing that it recording has started okay some of us cannot see okay so fxy can be expressed about the point ab in this manner f of xy equal to f of ab plus x minus a fx ab plus y minus b if y ab plus 1 by factorial 2 x minus a whole square f x x ab plus 2 x minus a y minus b f x y a b plus y minus b whole square f y y at a b plus one by factorial three similar to the single variable one x minus a whole cube f x x x at a b plus three x minus A whole square y minus b f x x y a b plus three x minus a y minus b whole square f x y y at a b plus y minus b whole cube. I think now you can easily get the pattern how we are writing it. Plus higher order terms. In the same manner, we can write the higher order terms. Okay, so this is the Taylor series expansion in several variables. So a function with three or more variables can also be expressed as a Taylor series expansion in similar manner. Okay, so we but here we will be only learning for two variable x and y. Now let us take one. example question is expand expand if xy which is equal to 2x plus y whole cube in a taylor series about the point one one up to quadratic term okay up to quadratic terms and from the series from the series estimate the value of fxy at 1.1 0.9 so about this point we have to estimate the value of fxy okay i hope the question is very clear we have the one function is given to us we have to expand this function in a taylor series about the point 11 and we have to go till quadratic terms and after getting the series we have to just estimate that what is fxy at the point 1.1.9 this is the question okay now already i have given you the series we are going to write the series first here ma'am one thing yes one question Ma'am, what is the geometrical significance of this writing? This like I'll about. I will upload. I will upload everything. Okay, I will upload. 
I will upload it. So this is our function, okay? And now we need some values, like what is F11? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Correct. Twenty-seven. So if one one is twenty-seven. Now what is we need f x six y? That is del f del x. What is that? Six two x plus y because three two x plus y whole square. Y ka whole square sir, ma'am. Into two, so it will be six. 2x plus y whole square. What is fx? 1, 1. 6, man. 54. 54. 54. Next, we need fy, xy. What will be fy, xy? It will be 3, 2x plus y whole square. So fy, 1, 1 is what? 27, 9. 27, 27. We need, need fxxxy. What is fxxxy? 12 into 2x plus y. Yes. What is fxx11? Name 24, no? 24, 2x plus 24, no? Um, F, X, X, oh, one, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes, sorry. 24 yes, is it will, yes, it will be 24. Correct. It will be 24. Because one, two is there, no, with X. So what is F, X, X, one, one? 72. 72. 72. 72. Next, we want F, X, Y, X, Y. What is it? This is 12 into 2X two plus Y. Because Y yes, is sir. having coefficient 1. So what is f x y one one? Thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six. Next we want f y y x y. This is six, no? Yes, six into two x yes, plus y. Yes. So what is f y y one one? Eighteen. Eighteen. So up to we have to go till quadratic terms. So we have obtained these values. Now we'll write the equation of this Taylor series expansion. We'll write thus the Taylor series expansion is now who can tell the Taylor series expansion? Just now I have written fxy equal to now. See, I will not write equal to because we are taking till quadratic terms and we are. Actually, neglecting the higher order term. So, we are writing approximately equal to. So, first is what? F A B. So, what is F A B? F 1 F 1 1. Plus X minus A. That is means X minus 1. F X A B. That is 1 1. Then we'll write Y minus B. B is 1. So, F Y. 1 1 1 2. Please mute two. yourself. Some sounds are coming. Somebody's mother is shouting at the back. And please turn on the recording. It is already started, I believe. No, ma'am. It's not started. But it was showing it is recording. No, ma'am. No, ma no, it's not started, ma'am. In chat section, it is there, ma'am. No, no, recording is happening, I believe. Yes, recording is happening. But it's not showing now. No, but in my system it is showing. I think it is just selectively shown to something. Ma'am, it is recording. Basically. Yeah, it is recording. Okay, then next will be 1 by factorial 2 x minus 1 whole square f x x one one no after after writing the series we will substitute the values okay plus two into x minus one y minus one f x y one one plus y minus one whole square f y y one one okay 
So we'll not write any more terms because still quadratic term only they have asked. So we'll write till this. Now we'll put the values. Okay. So let us put the values. What is F11 we received? That was 27, no? Yes, ma'am. 54, no? Yes, ma'am. No, it is 27. F11 is 27. Yeah, FX 27. 27. Then plus, we'll write, uh, what is FX 11? 54. 54. 54. 54. So we'll have 54 into X minus 1. Then we'll have, what is FY 11? It is 27. So 27 into Y minus 1. Plus 1 by factorial 2. Uh, what is FXX 11? 72. 72. 72x minus 1 whole square plus fxy11. It was 36. 36 into 2. No, so it will be? Yes, 72. No, 36 into 2 together will be 72. 72. x minus 1 into y minus 1. Plus, uh, what is f 18. So 18 y minus 1 whole square. Now we can simplify this. We have written the Taylor series expansion. So you can easily simplify if you want or we can keep in this way, in this way also. Now there is another part that what is fxy if x is 1.1 and y is 0.9. So from here only we can just write in this series, in this series we put x equal to 1.1 and y equal to 0 0.9. So nothing, just we'll put the values 1.1, 0 0.9. Okay. Now instead of, let us give approximate sign only. Now in this series only, we are going to put instead of uh, x 1.1. So this will be 27 plus 54. What will be x 1.1 minus 1? So it will be 0 0.1. 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Plus 27. Y is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 minus 1. So it will be minus 0 0.1. Minus 0 0.1. And so on. I think you can write it. So in this way we can uh, calculate the value and it will you'll get the value somewhere 29.79. Yes. Okay. So this is Taylor series expansion. So I hope you can easily do it. It's very simple. Next, I'm coming to Maclaurin series expansion. Now, same here. We have considered a function f of two independent variables x and y it is continuous and differentiable in the neighborhood of the point zero zero Maclaurin series is actually at the point zero zero so the taylor series expansion of fxy about the point zero zero actually gives us the Maclaurin series okay so the taylor series about the point zero zero gives us Maclaurin series so let me write the Maclaurin series it is fxy equal to f00 plus x fx00 plus y fy00 plus only difference is instead of a and b we are putting 00, zero. okay in Taylor series x square fxx 0, 0, plus 2xy, fxy at the point 0, 0, plus y square, fyy, 0, 0, plus 1 by factorial 3, x cube, fxx, x, x at 0, 0, plus 3x square, y, f, x x y at 0 0 plus 3 x y square f x y y at 0 0 plus 
y cube f y y y at zero zero plus higher order terms. I hope that you understood what is Maclaurin series. Same like Taylor series, only we are writing it at the point zero. So the Taylor series expansion of the function about the point zero zero is known as Maclaurin series. Okay. So the material I'm going to upload, don't worry, the geometrical interpretation and some uh, sums which are already done. Okay, that I'm going to upload. So next, so, yes. Ma'am, then uh, if a function x, uh, uh, f x y is not continuous at zero zero, then uh, it uh, its series is uh, uh, applied. No, no. What I said, the function is continuous and differentiable at zero zero. Now, initially yes. only I said this. You cannot apply. Yes, you, can, you cannot apply. Okay. Next, I'm going to start Jacobian. Okay. Jacobian is a very, very simple thing. Okay, whenever we, yes. Ma'am, yeah, in the single variable, we have no. some kind of reminders, right? Do we have in this also? No. Now, first thing is where this Jacobian is needed. Whenever we actually transform uh, from some variables to some other variables. Suppose your system of equations is given in X and Y and you want to convert it to some other system, say UV, then this Jacobian is required. Okay, whenever we want to change the systems. Now here actually I'm going to teach you how to evaluate the Jacobians. So first let me define it, that what is Jacobian? Suppose two functions are given, U, X, Y, and vxy. These are the two functions. Then the determinant del u del x del u del y del v del x del v del y or you can also write del u del x del v del x. Both are same thing. Del u del y del v del y. This determinant is called Jacobian. Jacobian of u and v with respect to x and y. Generally, we denote it in this way, del u v by del x y. And we write J U V. So in multiple integral, it is very much used. When you will learn multiple integral, you will see that Jacobian is very much used when transformation is required. So I'm not going to the application part. I'm just going to teach you that how to evaluate the Jacobians. So in uh, multiple integral, you will be using it. Now let us take one example. If x is equal to r cos theta, the definition is very clear to all of you. How to evaluate the Jacobian? What is Jacobian? If u and v are two functions of x and y, we write in this manner, determinant in this way or in this way. This is known as Jacobian. Let me three variables are there then. Uh, then. Then we'll come, we'll come to that also. So you have to, uh, uh, then you cannot do it in the three variables. With two variables, you can do transformation. X, Y, 2, we are transforming to U, V. Then how you will get the determinant? You are saying X, Y, Z. Yeah, means if, uh, yes, maybe function is in, means independent. Okay, variable okay, okay. Three. You are saying that if suppose X, Y, Z, we are converting to three, uh, another three variable, U, V, W. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can do it. In the same manner you can do it. You'll get sums on this. Same manner we are going to do it. If three, um, I thought that you're saying three map to two. That cannot be done. Okay, okay. But three variables can be transformed to another three variables. That can be done. So if x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta. Now we need to find out what is 
del x y del r theta. Can you find it out? You know the definition. R. R man. How? Del x del r theta. Del x del r theta. Del x del theta minus r sin theta. Del y by del r sin theta. Del y by del theta. R cos theta. I can write this, no? Yes, ma'am. Now, if we put the values, we'll get del x del r is cos theta, del x del theta is minus r sine theta, then del y del r is sine theta, and del y del theta is r cos theta. Now, if you find the determinant value, it will be r cos squared theta plus sin squared theta. No? So this is nothing but R. Okay? Now see, Jacobian is having some properties. So these properties, I'm only going to give you the statement and proof part is there in the material which I'm going to upload. So proof you can see from the material. I'm not going to now discuss the proof or derive any proof. I'm only going to give the properties. So properties. First property is if u1 and u2 are function of y1 and y2. If u1, u2 are functions of y1 and y2 and y1, y2 are functions of x1, x2. Then we write in this way, del u1, u2, del x1, x2 equal to del u1, u2 divided by del y1, y2 del y1, y2, del x1, x2. This is one of the properties. Okay, this is property number one. I'm not going to prove it. It is already there. It's very simple proof. You can go with it. Second property, if J be the Jacobian, of the system UV with respect to XY and J dash be the Jacobian of XY with respect to uv then j j dashed will be one okay that is we can say that del uv uh, uv is function of xy this into now xy is function of uv will be equal to one this is property number two Third property, <coughs> see third property is saying that if four variables are there, okay, if four variables, what are the variables? U1, U2, X1, X2. If four variables are connected by two independent relations. Say, F1, U1, U2, X1, X2 equals to zero. This is one of the relation. Another relation is F2, U1, U2, X1, X2. This is another relation. 
if this is the case that there are four variables and they are connected by two relations, then we'll have then del f1 f2 by del u1 u2 multiplied with del u1 u2 by del x1 x2 will be equal to del f1 f2 by del x1 x2. Okay, so these are the three properties which are there for Jacobian and these three properties we are going to use when we are going to apply. We are going to find out the uh, Jacobian for a system of equations. Then we want to change the variables. Ma'am? Yes. What is F1, F2 here? The relation between these four variables. Okay. Now, let us take an example. Suppose F of UV equal to 3U V square and G U V is equal to u square minus v square. Question is find del f g by del u v. Can you find it out? Can you find this? Yes, ma'am. So we'll write del FG by del UV. This can be written as del F del U, del F del V, del G del U. Del G, del G. Now you can find the values. What is del del U of F? Three V squared. Three V squared. Okay. Three V squared. How? What is del F del V? Six V. What like is del G del U? Two U. What is del G del V? Minus 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 so if you find the value, you'll get minus six six B into V square plus two U square. V square plus U square. Yes, ma'am. So very very simple, no? Very, very simple. Now, let me come to another problem. Ma'am. Yes. This example uh, is uh, an example of third property. Yes. So then what are F1 not, and F2? Not, not third property. Why third property? Third property is that four variables will be connected by some relation. That was the third property. Where is the relation between the four? And here only we are having U and V. Simple four are also not there. Oh. Four, four variables should be there and they should be connected by some relation, no? Then only we will apply our third property. Here we have to use our third property. Because see, we are having four variables and two relations. No, two, two relations are there among the variables. And here we have been asked to find del uv by del xy. Now what we will do here, we will write f1 is u cube plus v cube minus x minus y. And f2 is u squared plus v squared minus x cube minus y cube. This is equals to zero, this is equals to zero. These are the two relations between the four variables. Now, using the 
third property we can write this will be nothing but del f1 f2 by del xy divided by del f1 f2 by del u we can write this using the third property now easily you can find this one del f1 del x del f1 del y del f2 del x del x del f2 del y del y divided by del f1 del u del f2 del u now easily you can put the values what are the values del f1 del x what is del f1 del x minus 1 Minus one. This is minus one. Minus three x squared minus three y squared divided by three u squared to three v squared two u two v. Two v. If we simplify, we are going to get half y squared minus x squared divided by u v. U minus v. Okay. So this Jacobian notes also I'm going to upload, where some sums are done, and we'll also try to give you some problems to do. If you have any doubt in Jacobian, you can ask me.